All human beings are born with the right to adequate food. The right to adequate food is a universal human right. Everyone has a right to be free from hunger and to have an adequate standard of living, including food. It's connected with dignity and entitlement. Dignity, because it's not only associated with survival, but also with what makes us who we are, our relationships, our culture, our health, entitlement because we are talking about a fundamental human right, something we have the right to demand, and that the states, corporations, other people must protect, must respect and promote. No es un privilegio. Tenemos derecho a alimentos saludables, nutritivos, para un desarrollo de una vida plena, de bienestar y de manera digna. Everyone has the right to be free from hunger, which means to be free from occupation, exploitation and uh, oppression it is the right to celebrate life through our meals with each other in community. Enough food must be produced, distributed and available for purchase. We are having the resources to access to nutritious and culturally appropriate food at all times to produce our own food using our own seed and cultivating it in our own land. Producir sem interferência de outras instituições que sejam muito mais poderosas economicamente. Food must be affordable and accessible to all, including those in situations of vulnerability. food supply chains for fresher products, food assistance for the most acute situations of food poverty. Fighting food waste and saving food from local markets, allowing people in situations of vulnerability to access fresh and healthy food. Food must be adequate. It must be safe. Meet dietary needs for a healthy life and be culturally appropriate. community and I can access food, our indigenous traditional foods that are essential to the survival of our culture and our identity. Everyone has the right to food, but some individuals and groups face more obstacles than others. El respeto pleno de todos los derechos humanos, de todas las personas que están involucradas o afectadas por la producción eh, eh, y al funcionamiento de los sistemas alimentarios. En la garantía de este derecho en las generaciones futuras. Ensuring that everyone, especially the small scale fishing communities, can consistently access sufficient, healthy and nutritious food. It's about fairness. Priorizando y protegiendo a los pequeños agricultores, campesinos y a los pueblos indígenas, quienes tienen un papel esencial para la reproducción de la vida. States must make every possible effort, using all available resources to respect, protect, and fulfill the right to food. The CFS policy agreements are practical tools to advance the progressive realization of the right to food at country level progressive realization, it's urgent to regulate the availability, the prices, the marketing, and the labeling of ultra-processed food products. So progressive means whatever we have, it can only get better when it comes to access to the right food. We are improving things step by step and removing all barriers that stand in people's way to feed themselves. By working together, states, civil society, private sector and individuals, we can create a better world where the right to food is a reality for everyone.